<coughs> hey guys, so today is um, day 11. And boy, I felt like I really turned the corner yesterday uh, at day 10. Because I really didn't have very, I just had very <coughs> minor symptoms all day. Um, and then last night around 11 o'clock, all the way till today, I've been having this persistent um, cough. And I chewed up, you know, half a bag of cough drops. <coughs> uh, I just scared myself. My wife asked me to check my oxygen level. And every time I check it, it's been immediately like 98, 97, 99, every single time. And I do this, you know, four or five times a day. But when I just did this, like literally a minute ago, it came up 87, 91, 86, 94, and I was getting really scared. Because um, when I do inhale, <laughs> it's hard to breathe actually. When I inhale, I don't know what's the cause, but it's making me cough. Like it doesn't, my body doesn't want to take in more air. <laughs> So I'm not sure what that is. <coughs> so I'm gonna watch watch this very carefully today. In fact, I'm gonna check my oxygen level right now. Okay, so this is my oxygen sensor. Okay, 97 is good, <clears throat> 96. See, <laughs> it's never gone that low before. 95, it's always been in the high 90s, like 98, 99, 94. So yeah, that's a little freaky. Um, my throat doesn't hurt. It's just when I inhale, it's when I start coughing. <coughs> um, I'm gonna keep a close eye on my oxygen today and my breathing. So, oh man, um, just when you think you're doing better and, and, then, and then this. So 97, <coughs> see, every time I take a, just a little extra deep breath, it hurts. And then my body wants to cough. So I'm gonna do some slow, deep breathing exercises. That seems to make the number go up. Okay. So it's about um, 10.30 right now. And I'll keep you guys posted here at day 11. Oh, hey guys. So, um, boy, I really jinxed myself yesterday. Oh, day 11 is really kicking my ass. Now, I hurt my rib just stretching. Not to mention I'm having a extremely hard time breathing. <clears throat> I'm gonna check my oxygen level again. Okay, let's turn on the oximeter, pulse oximeter. Now, up until now, it's been like around um, 99, 98, and now I'm getting these low levels <coughs> initially, but then it comes up, which it never has done this before. So that's a little scary. So the wife said I need to uh, let her know if it's hovering around low 90s constantly, but as you can see, it's coming back up. So maybe not a concern, uh, but there's something there, right? Yeah, there's something there. Um, it's, <coughs> it's about noon. Um, soup just arrived, so I'm looking forward to that. My body aches uh, quite a bit. Let me check my temperature. <sighs> yeah, I feel awful. I, ha I had a phone call with some family today and you know, I was pretty cheerful and optimistic. 98.9. <sighs> so it's a little elevated. Um, my temperature has been around 98.1 or lower. So now it's hovering just below 90. <sighs> um, yeah, I got chills again, um, more than 
last few days actually. Uh, and then this breathing issue I, I've got going on right now. Uh, so again, this is day 11. <clears throat> Yes, please. Uh, uh, I'll, or... I'll take the egg drop. Okay. okay. Um, sure. Thank you, Mama. <coughs> oh, any um, harsh breathing makes me cough. That's including talking. So I hope you guys can hear me. I'm talking in a very low tone uh, voice. Okay. Keep you guys updated later this, later this afternoon. And after eating that bowl of soup, I feel so much better. So maybe this is the remedy right here. Um, egg drop soup with some egg, hot oil. I don't know. I mean, no cough. My oxygen levels back up to 97, 98. Uh, so we'll see how it goes for the next few hours. All right, guys, so I just woke up from a three hour nap and that was really needed. <coughs> yeah, uh, my breathing got a little better after lunch earlier today. Uh, after eating that egg drop soup and a spice, uh, I feel like I just burnt, burned everything through and uh, I was able to breathe. My oxygen level came up immediately. My cough went away for you know, last five hours. So now it's seven o'clock, I'm having dinner, uh, more hot sour or more soup, a spicy soup. So I'm gonna see if this helps because uh, my cough did come back a little bit. Yeah. <coughs> yeah I can feel it, the, my lung is starving for air. Yeah. You know, like after you just sprinted a hundred yard dash, hard as you can go and you feel that and you're sucking for air and it's that dry air you're sucking in, um, super dry air. And uh, that's what it feels like. And that's what's, uh, that's what's making me feel like I need to cough is that dry air sensation going into the back of my throat. Um, I'm gonna check my oxygen uh, level real quick here. Let me flip the camera around. Finger in the uh, oximeter. See what the total guy yeah, just says my oxygen level is. There, see, I just took a deep breath and it hurt. <coughs> <coughs> and it fell and it dropped pretty low. I guess 95 is pretty low. Now, if I take some shorter, more controlled breaths, that should come up slowly. There, see that? So whenever my lungs struggle, that's when um, this meter goes whack and, get, and goes on to the low 90s or even high 80s I've seen. So this is what we're trying to keep an eye on is make sure that my oxygen um, mixture, whatever, stays above 97. But it just goes up and down. It's a yo-yo at this point. Okay, so 97, 98. Oh, come on, soup, do your magic. All right, guys. Um, yeah, so overall, today was a real shocker. I was hoping to uh, get through this COVID without having um, it really affect <coughs> or feel the effects for my lungs, but I definitely feel it today. Oh God, it's kind of scary, actually. Um, it doesn't hurt, but the fact that I can't take a deep breath is a little um, disconcerting. And when I do try to take a deep breath, uh, my body wants to cough. And uh, when I do cough, it makes, it feels like, you know, like when you were younger, back in high school day, for example, you just ran out 100 meter hard as you can go. And at the end, you're just huffing and puffing and you're, taking in that dry air you just your body can't get enough oxygen into your lungs so you feel that dry air going into your mouth and your lungs back of your throat and that sensation kind of burns 
And that's what, um, what, I, what, what this feels like when I cough or what's causing the cough is that dry burning sensation. <coughs> My body is starving for air and it goes in and, and then, and then it makes me cough. Weird. <sighs> Anyways, I hope all that kind of made sense. <laughs> Um, the soup, I'm almost done with the soup and it's not nearly having the same effect as the egg drop soup I had earlier. So I may have um, my wife call back the Asian restaurant and grab, order more of that egg drop um, soup. I thought the hot and sour would help, but um, I think I'm going to go back to what worked earlier. So, <laughs> maybe not tonight, uh, but, but tomorrow for sure. All right, so I'll keep you guys posted on the events later tonight. All right, guys, it's getting a little late tonight. I'm going to um, try to wrap it up here. I am still having a hard time taking a deep breath. I'm just breathing normally. Um, every time I do take a deep breath, it makes me cough. Um, my breathing is shallow. Here, let me just take my oxygen level one more time here. <clears throat> so, um, although it doesn't... <coughs> Uh, hurt per se uh, it's just a little I'm just a little nervous um, the fact that I'm having a little hard time breathing but my uh, oxygen is at 97 so 98 which is good so I hope I can get through the night um, my wife said to sleep, sleep on my stomach tonight so I'm gonna go and try and do that if I can. Um, not sure how my breathing is going to be <laughs> trying to sleep on my stomach, especially with this bed behind me that's, you know, it's shaped like a taco. So that's going to be a fun night. All right, guys. Um, let's see, what is, what is today? Yeah, day 11. And I hope that uh, you're finding this, you know, these segments, uh, this documentation kind of helpful to give you a better understanding of what a COVID patient uh, might be going through. Uh, it's definitely clear that you go through, you know, a lot of ups and downs. And there's been several times where I thought I've turned a corner and trying to be optimistic. And then the next day, it's just, a, it's completely different. <coughs> so I hope all of you are doing well out there. Um, until then, I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and get a good night's sleep. Okay, bye.